Welcome to All in a Weekend. Thank you. Why did you want to make this collection? Because I thought my songs had aged uh, badly. Um, and also because I've been singing some of those songs for 30 and 20 and 40 years, and they don't, they're not the same songs anymore. Uh, they've changed. They've taken on a different space completely over the years. Um, they don't, they're not sung by the same guy the, who wrote them 40 years ago, Jiquite Monil. Uh, the words don't mean the same thing. And the arrangements, I thought, were kind of okay, you know, <laughs> by, by after, after so all these years. So you're a perfectionist, really. Well, it's not perfectionist. I mean, we used to love the sound of synthesizers and, and, and electronic drums, and I don't like that anymore. And some of the songs were done with that. And, and when we discovered all those new electronic reverbs, we used to put so much you could barely hear what was happening in the track. And... Um, <laughs> I don't know how we managed to find that really nice in those days, but I didn't enjoy that anymore. I thought the songs, anyways, the ones that I picked for this album deserved better. They're really the songs that have followed me all these years. So I, I got together with Marc Pérus, who's a really great producer, and we just spent a whole year putting these songs together again, took them apart and put them back together in many different versions before finding the final versions that you have on the album. What changed about that? Why, why did you hear them differently now? Well, when you say something when you're 20 and when you're 30 and when you're 62, it, it don't mean the same thing. Your, your, your outlook on life has changed completely. And, and so... Um, Though I don't um, regret having done them the way they were done, mm -hmm. I, these are songs that, I mean, they're all I've got. When you're a singer-songwriter, all you've got is songs after, after all these years of work. So they are very important to me, and I wanted them to be as beautiful as possible, and that's why I did this. But tell, about a song like Je Pense Pas, yes. how does that change for you? How does the feeling in that song change for you? Well, when I wrote the song uh, uh, 20 years ago, it, I was uh, a young man. Oh, I wasn't that young, but madly in love. And 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 now I'm an old man, or I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting there. Madly in love. I guess madly in love with with life in in many ways. And 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 though the woman I wrote the song is still my wife, she's still living <laughs> with me. <laughs> you better still be madly in love then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually, this the song, the, the the sense of this song, the the the, the meaning of the song hasn't changed a whole lot. But I didn't. I, I thought the groove could be better. I thought the, the texture of the music could be better. Uh, all kinds of things like that 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 are details, maybe to most people, but not to me. And in the end, I find that they're not really details to other people because so many people have said, "Well, I've." Didn't believe it was a good idea until I heard the album, and now I know it's a good idea. You, you, uh, we, we're, I'm so glad you did this. And I said, thank you. Thank you. It makes me feel good. That's a song that you performed with Catherine Major, who yes. you've done amazing live performances with. It's, yes. It just sounded so good between the two of you. But on this collection, you also have Martin Léon, Joran, Louis-Jean Cormier. Why did you bring in other singers? For the emotion I've always had singers come onto my albums. Um, Moran has sung with me many times. Last album I had Louise Forestier, Marie Jo They don't. I don't ask them to do a duo with me. I ask them to come and do a cameo with me. They 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 they, they appear and and they add an emotion that I can't give it. The, so the, it, it's it's for the plus. It's for that little extra. And and I find that these singers because I pick my singers with people that I admire and that I love a lot so for, for the emotion that they bring to a song and, and I think they've done it really quite well One of your signature songs is Jules de Plain and uh, tell me about the way that it's been revamped can we say not maybe maybe yes. not revamped actually because well, it, it seems has a bit... in many ways um, the song is about uh, being a francophone outside of Mont out, outside of a francophone francophone uh, country like Quebec, if I may permit myself. Um, and it's also about the Métis. It's also about people who are uh, s s minorities in, 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 in majorities. And the first time that I did this song, I didn't want to do the song. I, I, I had been asked to write this song and I, I didn't feel good about the idea. I didn't feel comfortable with the, with, with the idea of the song. But I eventually did write the song. This was a, a series of films done at the National Film Board many years ago. 
And I had recorded it as well as I thought I could at that time, though I didn't feel particularly good about it. But over the years, that song has grown on me, and it's become important for me. And I know that, that people outside of, of uh, Quebec have a great attachment to this song. And um, I wanted to r- find the emotion of this song, which I hadn't found the first time. And, and I really worked hard to find that. And, and the, 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 the clincher was the Métis vi- violin there that, 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 that opens the song. And for right. me, that, that just has my, my, my um, goose pimples. And, 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 and I rediscovered the song. I just rediscovered the song. And it's a new song for me now. It's it's so funny that you talk about that about being an outsider in this song and sort of looking at things from the outside, yeah. because you have been such a success in the francophone world. You think, yes. well, aren't you inside now? I guess I am. I guess I am to a point, but I don't think you ever really, you know, your roots remain your roots. I, I've I've always had my roots in Manitoba, and they're, they're still there. They're not just I haven't pulled them out. I'm very happy to have them there. And I guess I, I, I'm sort of torn between the both. What's it like when you go back to Manitoba? It's like coming home. To be, I, I, and I keep wondering this because it's not as if Franco-Manitobans are a majority in the province. No. Do people know what your contribution has been to the artistic world? Well, I guess the Francophones do. I guess the Francophones do. The English don't. Um, which is not a source of frustration for me at all. Okay. In any way. Um, no, I just like to go home. My parents are still alive. Uh, my brothers and sisters live there. Um, my friends, uh, all my, my... It's funny, the first 20 years of your life are the most important years of your life. They're the, the, what's, what's what makes you. And um, it's certainly what, what, what made me because it's kept me all these years. It was the charge, the original charge in the battery was there. Most people take it easier at this point in their lives, generally. Yeah. yeah. You put out a whole new CD with collaborations. Yeah. You wrote a book. Yes. Um. Well, uh, <laughs> if taking it easier is is, is is working less, I don't think they should do that. I, I, taking it easier is all about relaxing and not making a big fuss about so much stuff so much, which I don't. I, I, I am much cooler about everything than I was a few <laughs> years ago, believe me. I've, I've settled my, my score with life and death and, and, and being alive and everything else, and, and I'm at peace with this. So I just enjoy it, and, and I enjoy the work. I really love working. I can't imagine doing anything else. And, and I'm just doing, I'm lucky to be able to do what I, what I love to do. Why a book? Good question. Um, I, I've been writing for many, 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 many years. And when I did, after doing Notre Dame de Paris in Paris, and it was a huge thing. Like, it was his, hysterical. We, we did a huge concert well, It was concert huge all over halls, the world as but, well. But in, in France, it was his, hysterical. We, we did 7,000 place halls night after night after night after night with crowds following us all the way. It was just crazy. I, I felt like the Beatles. When, 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 during but that could be a good thing. Well, it's interesting. It's a fascinating thing. But after it was over, I wanted to go back to something simple. So I, I did a show in which I was alone with the piano. And during that show, presenting the songs were these texts, these little, these little things that I wrote. And they're sort of like poems, I guess. You could call them poems. Um, and at the end of the show, people would come and ask me, who wrote those, those poems? I would like to buy the book. And I'd say, well, I, it's me, and I, there is no book. And this kept coming like for, for a long time. For four years, I did this show, and, and people would continuously ask me for the book. So I said, well, my God, maybe, maybe I should publish it. And that's what eventually convinced me that maybe I should do it. Which I did. I, I went to a publisher in Manitoba, though, because I, I wanted to be, I wanted to go do it that to your way. Roots. I had to go home. It was the <laughs> only way I knew someone would understand what I was talking about if I went back to Manitoba. <laughs> and I, I went to see Edition des Plaines in Manitoba, and they, they agreed to, to publish the book, and, and I'm very happy. I mean, it's, that's the way I wanted it to be. I know there's, there's no money to be made publishing a book of poetry that, n- nowadays, so might as well do it with somebody you like. Now, I want you to pick a song out of the collection for us to, for us to hear now. 
Well, my very favorite song of all time, of all my songs, which is always in mostly because it's so much fun to sing. It's such a great song to sing is Kise. Because it's a song that you can just let it all hang out. And every time I've done it with other performances, they say, they'll come and say, Oh, Daniel, we love singing this song with you. I say, I know. I don't know why, but this song is just fun to sing. And I did it again, and this time I did it with Moran. She did it the first version in 1985, I think. And so she had to be on this version also. And, uh, wow, I think it's really good. I love it. Singer, songwriter, actor, author, anything else? Producer, cook, cook. Uh, I love cook and a great gardener. I um, oh, that's I'm right. You're, you have your own gardener. vegetable garden. I have a huge vegetable garden. There's nothing I don't grow. <laughs>